Hi y'all, this is a video tutorial on your QNE software layout customization. For those of you who wish to customize your system layout, you can easily do it with these few steps that I'm about to show you. First of all, right click on an empty area and select customize layout. Drag the box aside and simply edit the fill you wish to change. As you can see, I'm changing this to the word debtor which refers to my customer. You can adjust the layout to suit your preference. Here, you can see that I will click on hide item just to adjust its position like this. And then I click on ungroup. Well, it looks better this way. You can also adjust the position of your company's logo. Simply click on picture and drag it wherever you want to place it. Here you can see that I've placed mine on the top right side. Click on hide item and then click on details. Return to the company's logo tab that you place on your top right corner and expand its size simply by dragging it. Now if you wish to adjust the size of each box that you see here, simply use the arrow for size adjustment. Whether you want it to be long or short, it's entirely up to you. Should you have any fields you wish to highlight on, you can view them under the Layout Tree view. Go to Appearance and select whichever fields you wish to highlight. Perhaps the phone color? Yeah, the phone color looks good. Here I've highlighted the details on item 1. You can see it on the left side. Having splitters make your layout looks more organized too. Decide on which areas you wish to add on your splitters. Okay, go to customize layout and then click on splitter. Drag it to the area you wish to place it. Okay, I'm adding one splitter here. And you can see me adding another one. Here. Feel free to adjust your layout, whether you prefer it short or long, it's entirely up to you. What I like about this uh, software is that, you know, everything is so uh, easy to use. It's really user-friendly, I can simply adjust, change, whichever I want to change, like this. Okay, you can also group the header info if you wish to do so. Click on Customize Layout and drag the box aside to easily select the details you wish to group. Just follow the steps shown in this tutorial and you'll notice that I also add the text depth info right now. Then I change the name, rename it to Dr. Info. Mm -hmm. To customize your header group and make it expandable and collapsible, okay, this is how you do it. 
click on um, expand button on the group and then choose the true option to make group tab pages that are expandable and collapsible okay go to group and then click on the item for tab here yeah. rename it and then click true on the expand button option on the group like this yes true well empty space item if you need to add on extra spaces okay if you don't need then you don't have to but if you need one then you just add add on the empty space mm -hmm. it's really easy right <laughs> space I'm gonna put here well the next step is save to your current layout okay your changes are successful so I'm gonna wish you good luck okay have fun with the system well this tutorial is brought to you by Q&E 